Let's see what you're playing. If it's not Loki, I'm gonna throw this iPad down and you're gonna cost Ars Technica some money, so you better pray. It's not Loki! <laughs> I'm a woman of my word, so unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca Ford, and Ars Technica asked me to take a look at some of your Warframes and loadouts, so I'm here to judge you. Our first Warframe is from Recky Sanchez, so I'm going to take a look at this. Here we go, moment of truth. It's Gera, so this is awesome. Uh, Gera is sporting a hot pink and neon blue look with uh, black and grey undertones. I see they're sticking with the core Gera aesthetic here. They have the Gera Noble animation on, and they have the Gera helmet and skin. So that's pretty impressive, and uh, I have a feeling if I swipe over a little bit more, I'm going to see their build, which I was right. That's how that works. Um, so this is a rank 30 Gera. It does have a lens installed for the Zenuric Focus School. So that means they're far enough into the game that they're collecting focus points. I'm not going to spoil what that means, but if you know, you know. We'll just do the silent nod. OK, let's take a look here. They have a prime continuity, and I I think it's, all, it's one tick away from being maxed, which means this person has spent a lot of credits and endo to rank up uh, Prime Continuity. That's a mod that extends the duration of your Warframe's abilities. So uh, for a Warframe like Gera, uh, you're going to, well, let's see what else they have. They have co Prime Continuity all the way. Yeah. So if you look at the screen, you can see the duration stat at 274%. What that means is they've maxed their duration stat for this Gera build. You can tell that because they also have Constitution, Narrow Minded, which are all duration based mods. And then below that, they have uh, Intensify, Vitality, Augur Message, and Streamline. So they have a bit of strength. And then they also have Mending Splinters, which is, you know, when we're talking about Warframe customization, that's an augment. So those are completely optional. You put it on to augment a certain ability. Uh, so for Gera in this case, they're going to be running, you know, a very high duration build on their uh, Warframe with very minimal range. So for them, it's all about uh, keeping their abilities up all the time. And uh, this is the same person, and they have, ah, they have the Lizette Day of the Dead skin, so they're sporting one of our more seasonal cosmetics, and they're doing it in a way that would make anyone who loves the color pink and purple proud. And yellow, myself included, so that looks pretty damn good to me. And then last but not least, they have their uh, landing craft, so they've been busy decorating. Let's see what they've been doing here. Uh, I can tell this person played Warframe this day because their daily standing limit for their syndicates is, you know, it's been eaten into. I can also tell that they are a fan of some of our Warframe partners, so that's amazing. I can see some partner glyphs up there. They also have Space Mom in the front and center of their landing craft, and I voice that character, so this is probably their worst nightmare, having their Space Mom judge them uh, while they're not home. So I hope you did your homework today and that you floss every day. So our next Tenno who is up for judgment is Pacating or Pisating. Picating. We'll go with whatever works. And right away, I see a mag. Beautiful. They have the throwing weapon skin on that we released with Limbo Deluxe. They also have the uh, Isabeau Prime Cyan Dana on from the Equinox Prime Access, available now for sale if you want to support Warframe. And they have um, lots of Tenogen on. So this is a really cool one because this mag is completely this you know, uh, let's see the name again, Pecating's own. They've uh, supported our user-generated content stream with this, which means the creators of these skins have received royalties for the purchase, which is awesome. And if I go to the next picture, they're showing off their capture of Finesse. This is incredible. It's oozing purple and pink energy. It's got black and purple. This is basically my dream Warframe look. And it's with Mag, who, you know, is uh, one of the more underrated Warframes, I would say. If you know how to use her, you know what she's capable of, so. Our next, uh, our next one comes from Right Lock and Roll. Uh, let's take a look at what you have to offer here. Okay. Oh, Mirage Prime. Uh, okay, so Mirage Prime is kind of like our trickster Harlequin Warframe. So this Mirage Prime is, uh, for taking a look at their cosmetic choices, they have beautiful Cyan Dana on. They're sporting the Tenora, Pyrana Prime, Redeemer Prime. They're also in the Zeneric Focus School. And they're, uh, they have a companion called Mr. Fluffers. So Warframe is a very serious video game, and we don't let players do fun things like name their pets Mr. Fluffers. That's forbidden. So yeah, let's take a look. at Oh, their landing craft, which is beautifully black and purple yet again. So this is a combo here of glorious fashion brain. Uh, this has the Prisma skin on the scimitar. So last person gave us the Lizette. That's one of the landing crafts. This is the scimitar. It's a little more uh, manta ray looking. Uh, so if there's a crossover between manta ray fans and gamers, you can play our game. Uh, and this one has a lot of beautiful uh, sort of ethereal looking energy on it with a color choice that almost makes me want to cry out of happiness. But I won't. Next up, Ninja Kivi 2. 
Ninja Kitty 2 is sporting a pink rhino with a Tenogen butterfly signed in a scarf, and uh, they're looking great. They have a bunny barfing a rainbow behind them, which is a partner glyph as well, which we saw in a prior one. And yeah, they, uh, they're looking great. They have, um, oh, they have a uh, ribbon on, so one of our team members, anyway, it's an emotional story, I'm not gonna tell it, but that ribbon symbolizes a charity effort towards one of our team members. Yeah, so what we're seeing here is Rhino Prime looking pretty good. They're in the Vazarin Focus School and they fully unlocked their Focus Tree, if you know what that means, good for you. They have Sphinx as their companion, so this is probably a cat if I had to guess what the name Sphinx, but I hopefully we find out. And they've got Twin Gracadas, Rubico Prime, this person knows what they're doing. So let's take a look at their... Uh, oh, is this their dojo now? Uh, okay, so this person has turned uh, their one of their clan dojo rooms into a... Hula dancing looking cool, cool character here. Um, oh, okay, so now we're in their uh, landing craft. We're in the personal quarters of the landing craft. We can see that they've made, we have fishing in Warframe when we released our open world expansions, we allow fishing. This person has obviously fished enough to get the placards of the robotic fish species and put them up in their personal quarters to show off their catch of the day. And they also have uh, participated in the floof hunting system, which is basically our conservation efforts. You know, save the animals of the wild because the bad guys are exploiting them. They also have their foundry, which has been retrofitted with decorations from Fortuna itself. So they've made this a very immersive foundry, so good on you. And a pile of Ayatan statues, because why not? If you, let me see how many of each variety there are. This person's probably played a lot of arbitrations to get that many gold statues. Those things are collectibles that you can use to decorate, like you, like you can see. Or you can exchange them for our... Um, just power is what I'm gonna say, because if I have to explain endo, we'll be here for the next hour. So. And then we have bed chuck. So bed chuck, let's see what you got. Oh, okay, so this is a PC player uh, because this is Wisp and Wisp is out on PC uh, as of two weeks ago, coming to console soon. This is Wisp, she's our newest, our 40th Warframe. Uh, she's looking mighty purple here, so let's take a look at how we built Wisp. They've already got three forma in their Wisp. They've added a lot of duration and strength to their Wisp uh, Warframe. So they're interested in keeping Wisp's powers alive a long time and strong. And they also have two Arcanes on there, Arcane Awakening and Arcane Agility. Arcane Agility is just not quite maxed yet, but they'll get there. So with Wisp, she's all about keeping buffs for you and your team up, as well as dealing a crap ton of damage with her Soul Gate. So we're, uh, we like what we see here. Very good stuff. Oh, and I think their Lizette is looking Pretty good too. That's a very clean blue and white appearance here. So good work. Very cohesive look. And I think that's it. So it's only fair that now that I've judged you guys, you get to judge my build. So why don't we take a look at my build that's gonna be on the internet forever, which will no doubt cause great criticism, but that's okay. Okay, so I didn't see a Nyx represented in the submissions, so I brought my Nyx Prime to the party. She is a Warframe that was one of our earlier releases. She fo she's focused on psychic and manipulation, crowd control. Uh, crowd control's fallen a little behind the meta, but I still find it very useful in squads because I'm not there to, you know, be the best at killing things and there to help on my team and deliver some CC while not dying. I am using the Synapse, the Cyanex. I've only just started using this gun, so it's not like it's not in my bloodline yet. But uh, the Gram Prime is one of my favorite melee weapons. The uh, build I use for Nyx is like pretty well-rounded. Again, I'm not, I don't have a dump stat per se, but efficiency is the lowest. I have the highest duration because her one mind control benefits from being in control of a target for a long time. I have two maxed arcanes. I have, you know, Assimilate on, which is an augment that allows her to be in this giant absorb bubble that absorbs all incoming damage that she can now just walk around Pretty good at not dying. I got some range, got some strength. Not not the most strength, obviously, but it's enough to get my psychic bolts to 100% debuff, which means I can take away all my enemy defenses. And I have a lot of fun with it. Enemy sense, just because I love knowing where my enemies are. Uh, that stacks well with um, my companion, who is a cat. So anyone that withheld that information from us, how dare you? But this is my cat. My cat has three looks as well. This is like the moonless cavat, so it looks pretty feral. This is my go-to look, because it matches my Warframe. So this is Liliana looking gold, purple, and white. Uh, and Liliana is just there to kind of give me some buffs, kill some enemies, take away their armor, and generally have a good time with her cat mom, which is me. I've killed a lot of people with that thing. In video games, of course. Oh. 